Scooby. Are we gonna make a movie? Scooby Malone. Scooby Malone was a good script. It was a classic old-fashioned detective movie. Nobody please help me! Are there so-called suspects? Who is your favorite? That one. Yes, there were babes in it, there were boobs in it. I think that's part of a detective story genre. I think that it oscillates between being sort of scenes of tits and bums and a look at organised crime, corruption in high places, that sort of thing. You're a shit, Malone. Yes, but I'm a police shit. So stylistically it fell into a lot of different places. The people making the picture saw one as a detective story. Somebody doing the tenor? And the other as these sort of add-ons that you were kind of yee kind of uh, attitude to it, instead of integrating it as a part of Scobie's life and the whole milieu. It appears to be quite sexist now, I think. Hiya, Jackie. I'm not Jackie. <laughs> That's for sure. But certainly I think that was part of building Jack as the super macho, very charismatic star that he was. It traded on the fact that I was the most highly recognisable name in Australian film at the time. It was intended to be another Jack Thompson movie, which it was, and it traded on the fact that I was seen at the time as mm. sex star. Sergeant? Hang on, Junior, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> The obvious way to go was to surround him, I suppose, with a lot of naked women. <laughs> Jack was the epitome of the 70s, and at the time had two sisters living with him. The producers were trying to cash in on Jack's private life. Even to the extent where one of the girls I was involved with at the time is in the movie. Good flight, Susie. Jackie, lover. But that's true of every second movie, really. <laughs> I'm Qantas, darling. It's Susie who's Lufthansa. I think that everyone on it tried, tried to do their best, as people always do, but it's just awfully hard to get it right in a film.